Hello Booktube and welcome to my bookshelves. So today I'm going to do a special video. This is going to be my a bookshelf tour, but I'm going to concentrate on my Agatha Christie. So I'm going to take you through my Agatha Christie books. I'll take you through, point out some of the interesting novels I have, some of the rarities and some miscellaneous Agatha Christie books. So I'm going to start with the the novels and I have them all on my shelves in publication order. So we start with the first ever Agatha Christie novel which is The Mysterious Affair at Styles, which was first published in 1920. So we're getting close to the 100th anniversary of the first Agatha Christie book. Next up I will show you is the Sitterford mystery. Now the reason I am showing you this one is because this is the first Agatha Christie novel that I ever read. I was loaned it by someone at college who thought I would like it and I did. I read it, loved it and it set off a lifelong love and obsession of Agatha Christie. So that is the Sitterford mystery. The Murder at the Vicarage, which is the first Miss Marple novel. Now we've got all different styles, editions of Agatha Christie. I would, I would like them all in the same edition, but I quite like these editions. I quite like the artwork and the design of these ones. This one is interesting. It is Mr. Parker Pine Detective, and it's a collection of short stories. But this is interesting because this is the American edition. And in in the UK, this is called Parker Pine Investigates. Death on the Nile, one of her most famous books. I'm showing you this because this is my favourite Agatha Christie. So coming down to the next shelf and possibly her most famous novel, and then there were none. Um, obviously this wasn't the original title to this book, and I won't say the original title on here, but I was in a charity shop um, a while ago and they had some Agatha Christie's and they had this book, but they had it in its original title and it was there on the shelf. This is The Hollow and it is a Hercule Poirot novel. Now, I'm in an amateur dramatics group and we did this, the stage version of this book a few years ago, about 10 years ago, we did the, the adaptation for the stage. And interestingly, Agatha Christie took out Hercule Poirot from the stage version. Another American edition of one of her books. This is Hickory Dickory Death which is the American title and the English title is Hickory Dickory Dock. So coming down to the bottom shelf and we've got some of her later books. So we have Postern of Fate, which is the last Agatha Christie book that she, full length novel that she, that she wrote. There were two more full length Agatha Christie novels published but these were published after her death and she actually wrote these in the 1940s um, and she put them away in a vault to be published after her death and they are the last Poirot case curtain and the last Miss Marple sleeping murder. Now sleeping murder book this is probably the worst the worst book cover of the lot it's hideous so now I'm going to come to some of the miscellaneous and rarities. So this is The Unexpected Guest. Now this is an Agatha Christie play, but has been adapted to a, a novel by Charles Osborne. But this was never in novel form, this was originally a stage play. We now have two recent releases. These are brand new Hercule Poirot mysteries and that is the Monogram Murders and Closed Casket. And these are by Sophia Hanna. This is Star Over Bethlehem by 
Agatha Christie Mallowan. Now, Agatha Christie and her first husband, Archie, were divorced, and she later went on to marry Max Mallowan, who was an archaeologist. And she has written this collection of Christmas stories and poems, but she's published it under her name of Agatha Christie Mallowan. She also wrote under a pseudonym, and these two are The Rose and the Yew Tree and The Burden, and there are about three or four others that she wrote under a pseudonym, and she wrote them under the pseudonym Mary Westmacott. And they're not murder mysteries, they are romances and and dramas. So this is The Mousetrap and Selected Plays. This is a collection of four play scripts, and they have in there, and then there were none, which our group has also done on stage, Appointment with Death, which we haven't, The Hollow, which I showed you earlier, as play form, and The Mousetrap. So earlier I showed you the Christmas stories and poems by Agatha Christie Mallowin. She also produced this book, Come Tell Me How You Live, which is a memoir of her time helping her husband as an archaeologist in Syria and Iraq and her life as an archaeologist's wife. This is a book of that accompanies the television series starring David Suchet and gives insight into the episodes and the background to some of the TV dramas. Also touching on that subject is David Suchet's biography of his time playing the famous detective with lots of anecdotes and insights into the TV show. This is a beautiful book. This is Agatha Christie at home and this is photographs and background to her house at Greenway in Devon and comes complete with lots of photographs and background to her life at home. Agatha Christie's Murder in the Making by John Curran. Secrets and stories from her archive. Now John Curran, I think there's a couple of these books, but he has had access to the notebooks of Agatha Christie, where she wrote all of her stories and plots out, and he works out how she constructed her novels. This book contains loads of spoilers, so so don't don't read this if you haven't read read the books because he goes in depth as to how she worked out who who the murderer is and the red herrings and the clues and just how to construct her famous books. This is a fascinating book, Agatha Christie, An English Mystery by Laura Thompson. And this is a biography of Agatha Christie. Now Agatha Christie wrote her own autobiography, but obviously she didn't include everything in her life. Famously, her 11-day disappearance in 1926. But in this one, Laura Thompson has a whole chapter devoted to what happened during those 11 days. And this book goes very in-depth into her early life, um, her later life after her marriage breaks up and she then remarries Max Mallowin. And it is full of quotes from her books and private letters and a very fascinating biography. Now I'm going to finish on three, my three favourite Agatha Christie related books. First one is The Complete Christie, an Agatha Christie encyclopedia by Matthew Bunsen. This goes very in depth into the books, lists all the books obviously, all the characters and everything related to Agatha Christie and it does it in a nice easy way to read. The Bedside Bath Tub and Armchair Companion to Agatha Christie. Now this is an American publication so it uses the American titles of some of the books but it lists all the books in order and gives a brief brief overview of the plot and some of the reviews and criticism sometimes of some of those books. So for example this one is a chapter on the patriotic murders which in the UK is called one to buckle my shoe but it also comes with little maps of where some of the books are set 
So you've got Devon and Cornwall and Southern England. And it also comes with little crosswords as well. But this is a fascinating book to dip in and out of. And that is the Bedside Bathtub and Armchair Companion to Agatha Christie. Now this is my favourite Agatha Christie related book. And this is The Life and Crimes of Agatha Christie by Charles Osborne. Now this is a biography of Agatha Christie, but it is told using her books. So it will list, it lists all of her books in order and gives a brief overview of that book. And then it will give a brief summary of what was going on in Agatha Christie's life at the time of writing this book. And Charles Osborne, who wrote this, also wrote the novel version of The Unexpected Guest, which I showed you earlier. So that is my Agatha Christie bookshelf tour. Hope you enjoyed that and I will see you all again in my next video. Thank you for watching.